Hey kids, what's up? I'm here with my friend Kirsten and we are learning and practicing our major scales from the Hal Leonard guitar method book. I think we're in book two or three or nine million. And if I was in the mood, I'd go and look and see what page we're on. But I've got the virtual version and those Kindle books, they only give you locations, not pages. What's up with that? Um, okay, so um, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, let's see. Is that uh, going to give you enough night? No, but there's a little bit of light for you. Okay, what we're mostly talking about is, hey, let's see the guitar. There we go. It's this A major scale. And what I like to recommend to a lot of students as they're beginning to get better control of their guitar pick. Uh, let's look at that. Guitar pick, guitar pick. Where are you, guitar pick? Wherefore art thou, guitar pick? Okay, there we go. Let's use a more colorful pick. Ta da! Red. Okay. Blip, 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 blip. So, one thing that I recommend to start out with is playing a lot of rest strokes. Where you play the sixth string and I'm coming into land. Let's see if I can get this really close to the camera. Or maybe I'll bring the camera close. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay. So focus, focus, focus. So. And the reason behind this is that you don't want to prepare the pick on the string before you play it like this because that'll give you a staccato sound. But you want to be able to get some sense of where you are. And so it's helpful in the beginning to play all downstrokes and have the pick land right on the next string before uh, underneath it. So my friend Kirsten is going to practice this first because it helps you. The other thing that it helps you with is you can get, helps you get the fundamentals of good tone. Look how my pick is the tip is angled up. This will help you get good tone out of your instrument. It'll sound good because we're pushing the string into the guitar and letting it bounce up. Um, and it'll help the pick slide over the string as opposed to like kind of getting stuck a little bit like that. So it'll help you achieve that or learn to achieve that. And um, the other reason we like it is that every time you play a note, you're measuring the distance between the strings. So you're learning where the strings are. Now I'm gonna put my hand back where I would actually play and um, a little closer, oh yeah. Okay, but, or should I say, and, when do you start not playing rest strokes? Well, look at this. This is a little bit different. I'm going to go down, up, 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 down. That's called alternate picking. It's a little bit more efficient in terms of speed it'll be easier to go faster because we're using both directions of the pick but it's a little bit trickier because you have to navigate how to change strings from string to string and there's a, a an art to swinging the pick in an arc an art to the arc um, and I think we'll get into that in the next video. But let me come back here and show you. Back to two cameras. Oh, yay, it worked. Hurrah, huzzah. One more thing, which is that in order to play this scale we've been playing it from the book ascending do re mi fa so la ti do re mi fa 
so la ti do to go down do ti la so fa mi re do one thing to consider with your left hand to get your technique nice and efficient a good rule of i would say rule of thumb but we're talking about your fingers is when you descend strings when you go from a littler string to a bigger string and the sound goes down the pitch goes down you want to prepare all of the fingers on the next string with the first note on that string. So notice I'm playing on the littlest string here on this E string. And then right when I go to this note, I'm going to move everybody over. If not at the moment, right after. Now they don't necessarily need to be pressing the strings down, right? But I want them on the string so that when I shift from this fourth finger to the second uh, finger on that string, it's already there and I don't have to do th time three things at the same time. Often what you'll see is people doing this, like, and then they have this hand up here and then they have to find that fret and shift back. So instead of doing that, I'd like it to be there right with this one. Watch that, I'll do it slow. And so this is what we do for descending scales. I'm gonna do it again there on the G string. Oh, look, I set them all up. Now, when I say all of them, you'll notice that this one is the last note we're playing on the higher string. So it has to come a little bit later. So we set up these higher fingers and then the first finger comes. Oh, this is the this one's playing the last note in the string, so it comes later. Then the first finger comes later. Set up the rest of them, first finger comes later. There you go. All right, hopefully that will help you work on your technique and we'll return at some point in the near, near future to work on your alternate picking as opposed to just this rest stroke, downstroke picking. Have fun. If you can't be good, be careful.